Hello and welcome to From the Floor on our conference channel. Last year as my team and I walked the exhibit floor at one of the fall conferences, I realized two things. Many health IT professionals could not make it to the conference because of travel restrictions or busy schedules, which is also true right now. And there are many excellent healthcare solutions who were at the conference and they were ready and willing to share their story about how they plan to help propel healthcare forward. We have short conversations with the vendors in their booths and we ask them to tell us what problem they are trying to solve in healthcare and how they are going about doing that and hopefully give you a taste of what it's like to walk from booth to booth. We'll try to capture as many of these as we can and share them with you. So we hope that you enjoy the new series. Special thanks to our sponsors on the conference channel, which are SureTest, CDW Healthcare, Artisite, and Rubric for making this content possible and for investing in our mission to develop the next generation of health leaders. And now, from the floor. Up first, we have a revenue cycle solution to improve efficiency in the EHR. All right, so tell me who you are and what is your role? Uh, my name is Travis Bias, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer of the Clinician Solutions Team housed within 3M's Health Information Systems Division. Perfect. So tell me, what does uh, 3M offer for healthcare solutions? Wow, so 3M's healthcare business group is made up of a couple divisions. We are in the health information systems division that offers solutions. Mostly people know us for the revenue cycle space. So we have our coding platform called 360 Encompass that's been built on 40 years of coding and clinical documentation improvement and clinical documentation integrity work. We've built on that a clinical documentation integrity business as well and have since 2019 plugged in our Immodal business. So in 2019 we acquired Immodal, which is effectively our clinician solutions business where I work. And to try to really plug in the physician facing or clinician facing piece of the work in the electronic health record every single day to all that middle and back end revenue cycle space where we've worked for many years. So we kind of saw that as adding a couple major capabilities together to improve efficiencies for physicians in the electronic health record. Wonderful. So who at the health system do you want to talk to and what's the conversation you'd like to have with them? So typically I, so I'm a family medicine physician by training, so typically I'm brought in to speak with the chief medical officer or chief medical information officer actually, or any kind of variation of those titles. And typically we're having conversations about, there, there's so much administrative burden and clerical burden that physicians take on throughout their workday within the electronic health record. So a lot of our conversations are around how we can help them and their organizations improve efficiencies for clinicians and really remove some of that administrative burden and ultimately help physicians create time for physicians to spend time with their patients, to, to focus on the patient in front of them rather than on the computer screen. Awesome. So tell me, are there any success stories or case studies that you'd like to share with our audience? Sure, we have hundreds of thousands of physicians on Fluency Direct, which is our front end speech recognition tool. Multiple successes there that we could mention. So Mayo Clinic, obviously, we work with their community practices and, and really their whole enterprise to, and they've got a high adoption percentage. So they're very comfortable using speech to navigate the electronic health record. And, but that's, that's been not only due to the success of our solution itself, but also due to the way that they have implemented and used our adoption specialists to make sure physicians are comfortable using speech recognition technology and do so efficiently within the electronic health record. The second organization I would mention is Intermountain Healthcare. They have used our CDI Engage One solution, which is really that marriage between the front end speech recognition toolbar, uh, control bar, and our back end 360 Encompass coding platform to really bring that together as a kind of a bi directional tool to put a lot of clinical documentation integrity information right in front of the clinician at the point of care. So instead of me waiting days or, or weeks later to get information from my coding department asking me about a patient and I've got to go back into that patient's chart, remind myself their story and specific diagnoses, we can nudge the physician right when they're in that, the first time around they're in the electronic health record, the first time they're in that patient's chart to say, can you give me more specific language? Can you document more completely and accurately beginning with the first time around the chart? So that again, I can save time and make sure that I'm capturing as completely as possible how complex my patient population is. And Intermountain has really taken this to a new level with their ability to implement this type of solution within their organization, get their physicians to engage with the control bar, to, to really 
the whole goal is to capture completely how complex their patient population is. Of course, that's important in, for reimbursement in a fee-for-service or in a value-based world, but it's important for quality measurement because a lot of expected values for quality measurement actually comes from the physician's documentation. So if we can get more detail up front and improve the efficiency with which physicians are capturing that detail, then that's a win-win for not only the clinician but for the organization. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to talking to you again. Absolutely. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. Second, we have an automation and AI solution to improve clinical capacity. Well, thanks so much for spending some time with me. Introduce yourself and tell us who you are and what you do here at the company. Yeah, hi, I'm Rich Burhansel. I'm a global health lead. I take care of our health business globally for Accenture and here at HIMSS. And we're having a great time and talking to our customers as well as our important partners that we go to market with. That's so great. So talk to me a little bit about the solution that you guys provide for healthcare. It's kind of broad. We do a number of things. The things that we're talking the most about right now are you know, some of the key topics that, and, and ideas that our, our customers are looking for. So one of the biggest issues right now is around clinical capacity. We don't have enough nurses and doctors around the world. And so we're talking to our folks here about solutions for that. Things like moving clinical solutions to the cloud. Things like automation, even artificial intelligence and how those things can help in solving for some of those big issues. Man, that's huge. So as you're going to the healthcare system, who at the healthcare system are you looking to talk to and then what's that conversation look like? Yeah, it's great. It's these issues on clinical capacity and on decisions around moving to the cloud are really enterprise level decisions. So they often are involving different members of the senior suite of leadership in the health systems. Of course, in the clinical space and thinking about how to rethink clinical flows and things. That's got to be the folks that are around the clinical part of the organization. That's right. But the decisions around infrastructure and, and how to move toward uh, more modern platforms and get the benefits of that are obviously a CIO consideration as well as a chief financial officer consideration. Yep. So it's really the, a broad uh, group of people that we talk to. Sure. So. Give me a little bit of success stories, some case studies with Accenture about what are you guys proud of right now? So about a year and a half ago, we helped to catalyze the movement in the industry to move the EMRs to the cloud. And we've got some success in the market in doing a couple of those first ones. And so those health systems are in progress and moving the estate of their clinical solutions and the surrounding technologies into a cloud environment and we're starting to see the potential and the real benefit of that. So it's exciting to help catalyze that because what you're starting to hear about here is the movement to the cloud is sort of an inevitability. That's right. And it's a question of when and how do you do it in a way that you're not disrupting the organization and you're really making sure you're getting the benefit out of it that everybody intends. I love that. Well, well thanks for spending a few minutes with us and sharing about your awesome company. Yeah, we'll Thank see you. you soon. Great. Alex's Lemonade Stand was started by my daughter, Alex, in her front yard. By the time she was four, she knew there was more that could be done. And she told us she was going to have a lemonade stand. And she wanted to give the money to her doctor so they could help kids like her. It was cute, right? She's going to cure cancer with a lemonade stand. Like only a four-year-old would think that. But from day one, it just exceeded anything we could have imagined because people responded so generously to her. We are working to give back and are excited to partner with Alex's Lemonade Stand this year. Having a child with cancer is one of the most painful and difficult situations a family can face. At Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation, they understand the personal side of the diagnosis, the resources needed, and the impact that funded research can have for better treatments and more cures. You can get more information about them at alexslemonade.org. We are asking you to join us. You can hit our website. There's a banner at the top and it says Alex's Lemonade Stand there. You can click on that and give money directly to the Lemonade Stand itself. Now, back to the show. Next, we have an imaging solution to improve access and value to users and the EHR. So, who are you and what is your role? Hi, I'm Jason Knox. I'm a Solutions Manager for Enterprise Imaging with Agfa Healthcare. Perfect, so Agfa Healthcare, tell me what is the solution you provide for health? We live in the imaging space and our goal is to provide essentially ubiquitous access to all types of imaging from any device for any known user. Ideally within the EHR, so we're not trying to compete with the EHR, we're actually trying to add value to the EHR in the form of imaging. 
Beautiful. So who in a health system do you want to have a conversation with and what would you talk to them about? We actually speak with a variety of people depending on the challenges that are most pressing. So we certainly talk from the technical angle. So the CIO, for example, is very interested in trying to manage the total cost of ownership as it relates to imaging. Typically, as healthcare providers are changing via acquisition and affiliation and mergers, they inherit a lot of imaging systems when they do that. What they end up with is, is, is a massive footprint of IT technology that largely does the same thing over and over and over again. They just happen to have nine instances of the same thing for nine different sites or locations. It gets really cumbersome, costs a lot of money to maintain and manage all those systems. So CIOs are really interested in trying to bring down and start to control the cost and complexity of all of these IT imaging footprints. From a clinical perspective, we love speaking with uh, CMIOs, for example, Chief Medical Information Officers. They have a unique role in that they try to bridge the technical world and the clinical world. We try to bring the best of both of those. So we also have the ability to bring all of those images not only down to a single footprint, but actually out to the actual clinical users. And those users measure in the dozens, hundreds, thousands, and sometimes tens of thousands, depending on the role. So we work from both the diagnostic level, where radiologists and cardiologists use our software to actually diagnose the actual illness, but then their diagnosis is consumed by thousands and sometimes tens of thousands of clinicians and physicians and nurses in other areas across the actual enterprise. So we actually build that imaging software to address all of those challenges. That's wonderful. Yeah. So tell me, are there any use cases you'd like to share with our audience? There's a massive use case out there in trying to stop the movement of data. And what I mean by that is instead of pushing the data around from one system to another, we actually work to bring the pixels to the user without actually shifting the actual data. So it's a bit of a change in the concept from an imaging perspective. I generally kind of liken it to the world of Netflix. Netflix never actually sends you the movie to your TV. They send the pixels to your screen. But at no point do you actually have the movie. We're doing the same thing now so that you can actually store the pixels on-prem or maybe in the cloud and just move the pixels to the screen instead of pushing the data around to the different systems. There's massive interest in that all the way from hospitals and imaging centers all the way up to multi-site and national, international companies as well are very interested in that because it's, it's a real change in the paradigm of how imaging works today. Wonderful. Well, yeah. thank you so much for your time. My I look pleasure. forward to talking to you again. Sounds good. Thanks. Last, we have a security solution to secure the entire network. All right, so we're here at, at HIMSS in 2023 with Arista. So tell me who you are and what do you do here? Yeah, hi, this is Jason Beavis. I, I work in Arista Networks on the security side, so I'm responsible for cybersecurity professional services and cybersecurity sales engineering at Arista. Fantastic. So talk to me a little bit about the solution that you guys offer to healthcare. Yeah, I mean, we have a, a pretty unique solution at Arista, and it, it kind of breaks down to securing the entire network across the board. So it starts with, we have what we call sensors at the switch layer. So we're the first company to embed a sensor on the switch itself so we can get really deep in the network to watch cyber attacks. Okay, those sensors then feed up to what we call a fabric, which aggregates traffic, and that's what we call our DANS traffic aggregator. And that allows us to deduplicate and really consolidate things so we can analyze it. And then that will feed what we call our network detection and response. Okay, the network detection and response, so we take all that data, we have analytics over the top, and then we find the threats in the environment. We find things like the bad actors coming in, we find the lateral movement they're doing, we find insecure IoT devices and insecure management of IoT devices, specifically in healthcare. So if your CAT scanner's talking out to the internet, we'll find that. If your laundry machines, for example, have management tunnels coming in to manage them that are exposed to the internet, we're gonna find those type of things and help shut them down. And then more recently, we have two other items that are being displayed here. One is our network access control called Agni, and that allows us to actually lock down and secure the threat at the network level, as well as the next generation firewall, which helps us get the firewall components deeper in the network to deal with shutting down and making more efficient the lateral movement in the organization. Oh, that's fantastic. So 
Talk to me about who you want to speak to at the healthcare system and then what's the conversation you want to have with them? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of audiences where we're typically trying to get a hold of. Sometimes an availability person is great because they're trying to figure out how to keep systems up and that we can start a good conversation there. Yeah. Usually you're kind of looking at CIO or the CISO in the environment, so head of security, head of infrastructure. And if they may report to somebody, we, we like to see maybe where both those groups report to. So those top executives, because what you're doing when you work with Arista and Arista Cybersecurity Solutions, we're looking at a strategic solution across the board. Right. Like one of the things I didn't mention is we, we've got wireless that helps secure down deep into the networks, those remote offices, things like that, as well as the rest of components. And you really need somebody who can help combine the cybersecurity and the information technology security story. Yeah. So those head executives. That's fantastic. So brag on Arista a little bit. Are there any success stories, any case studies that you'd like to share with yeah, us? Yeah, I think there's some even public. I'm not going to say the entity, but we, we did recently get into a hospital healthcare company where they, they went with Arista across the board and they did it based on that strategic discussion. Okay, they went in, they put the wireless devices at the campus across the board in the hospitals. They did that one because they wanted secure wireless communications, a stronger encryption story across the board. They went with our switches and they looked at those switches because of one, they have less vulnerabilities, they have better uptime than our competitors. And then they were able to turn the sensors on to watch threats in the environment. And then they did go with the other components of the aggregator for the traffic, as well as the network management and the managed service over the top of the network detection and response to help find threats. They didn't have a lot of resources possibly to be looking in and digging in, and we have great expertise with our staffing to be able to hunt and find the threats and help report and strengthen up your infrastructure for you. Man, I love that. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us. We appreciate you guys being here this year. Yeah, no, thank you for the opportunity. and really appreciate it. Absolutely. What a great group of healthcare partners. We want to thank them for spending time with us from the floor and sharing their solutions and their aspirations for supporting healthcare IT. I want to thank them for talking with me, with Holly and our team from the floor. We also want to thank our sponsors who make this content possible and are investing in our mission to develop the next generation of health leaders. They are SureTest, CDW Healthcare, Artisite and Rubric. Thanks for listening. That's all for now. Thank you.